Oh, I like that one. That one. Yeah. You are listening to the Lost Mind. You see it goes on there. You are listening to the Lost Minds podcast. Let's get this session started with uh, some deep breathing exercises. And by deep breathing exercises, I mean see you on the other side. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. What are you doing? Nothing, 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 nothing. Just make sure you're making a podcast. Bet you, 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 bet I can't. I can myself. hear myself, but barely. There we go. There we go. Better. Welcome everyone to the Lost Minds podcast. You're about to get your fucking mind blown. Oh, I whoa, whoa, let's not set the bar that high. No, blown. we're doing this. We're going for ding, it. Ding, ding, all right. Ding, so we ding, all ding, just ding, got ding, off ding, of Ancestry. dot com. We know what we are now. So, Brick, do you want to tell everybody what you are? Um, I'm. I was originated. Uh, my father was born in Kenya. That's. Uh, my mother was born in Japan, and now I'm wow. just a multicultural person. I took up golfing, and uh, I've been getting pretty good. It's amazing. Um, Basically a checkers pretty, board. <laughs> That's I was what like, looks I'm like. trying to describe Tiger's Wood. <laughs> <laughs> a chess board. My apologies. Admir, how did I'm, it go for you? I'm 20% luck, 50% <laughs> skill. <laughs> uh, we'll edit that out. No. Um, <laughs> No, dude, you gotta add. Gotta remember the name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gotta oh, remember. That's good. That's good. Oh, that's actually a good song. I like that song. Yeah, dude. I was yeah. sitting there thinking about, dude, well, it's gonna be something great. I was gonna be like fifty percent Genghis Khan, but I was like, no, there's like half Genghis. the world population is Genghis. <laughs> so I was like, that'd be lame. That's like a good Genghis pickup line. He's probably like, want a little, Jeng- <laughs> little Genghis in ya? <laughs> You have no choice. I'm gonna fucking come over here. And make <laughs> Too late. You already are. Too late. Whoops, right. Daisy. But no, I'm actually thinking about doing that. No, I think that'd be, that'd be a good. No, no. <laughs> twenty one and me or whatever the fuck it's called. Oh, they like. Oh yeah. Huh? Where they like the make DNA you put a swab thing. in your mouth? That'd be cool. I'd like to do that. I don't know. Find what out if where it's you're just from? Like some creep at the other end, you know? He just takes well, it out and licks it. Licks it, and he's like, eh. Well, I listen to his podcast. Tastes like uh, uh, Boz, man. <laughs> Send it back. <laughs> Send it back, Russian. Because well, you might find out like some interesting stuff. Because I was listening to a podcast, uh, the, fight, the Fighter and the Kid. Oh, sorry, and like they, one of the guys there, they call him Big Brown or whatever. And uh, he, like everyone's like, "Oh, you got to have some kind of like Polynesian or like something, like some something in you, you know?" Because you're like huge. He gets it back. He's just like mostly German and Dutch, but he's like dark skinned for some reason and stuff. But like that's his pri- He's like not nothing else. Like I think no Italian, nothing. And like, I think I'm. Uh, I think I have a lot of like. Middle Eastern in me, because it's some Turkey, time, Turkish, Turkish, or uh, what the hell is it called? This like kind of tucked away Persian. Oh, Persian. Yeah. I think I have a little bit of that Persian and maybe some German, but I really want to do it because I was watching. Um, was it someone in your family? I think me and Erica were talking about it yesterday because it came up on the mm-hmm. TV and we were watching uh, Samurai Jack, and she was saying like. That somebody in your family did it, and they found out they were Italian or something. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> Jeez, I don't remember. Honestly, I'm not quite sure whose family she was talking about. But I'd like to do it. That's always fine. like um, people are like, "Where are you from?" Like America, you know? Because like my family. That's like, all that matters, dude. That's, here, that's the yeah. only right answer. <laughs> if you're born here, <laughs> it's like I'm American by default. I don't do anything if, cool about if it. It's America. Know? It's right. If it's so anything like, else, it's wrong. Especially <laughs> Russia. You ain't right. I always like tell them like, well, because I have uncles in Norway and stuff like that. I'm like, I'm pretty much Viking, you know. My dad says from Sweden. My mom says from Norway. Danish? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, like the Nordics, so like Nor- Norway, Sweden. No, I, I thought know, Danes Vikings. were Vikings. No, maybe uh, no they're from uh, Minnesota. <laughs> they're from <laughs> Minnesota. 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 No, um, shit, I watched it somewhere too that. The Vikings were here in the in the northern North America, Supposedly far, the Great Lakes. Yeah, oh, yeah far bi- far like before everybody else. Mm. 
that would have been interesting. Imagine if like Native Americans and Vikings mixed together and they That'd ended up a battle. I'd love to watch. Dude, imagine if like the white men come, like Columbus comes on a boat and they board and they get off the boat and they go to like meet these savages quotation marks. And they look like Vikings with steel weapons and shields and shit. On horseback. How different would the world be? Dude, so On different. horseback, yeah. So different. Like, if you think, oh, my God. Like, that, that, like that's what changed, like, the world. That was, like, internet to them, you know, getting moving at move at horse speed and then have something that wasn't wood. Because, like, even the Stone Era, like, I just been listening to this book now called Sapien. And they call it, like, um, he's like, there's weird misconceptions a lot of times with the humans and stuff. And... With, like, the stone era, they call it, it's like, they never used stones. It was, like, sticks, you know? They sharpened sticks. They had, like, certain things like they tried to make. Yeah, it was, like, way primitive, you know? And that's why, like, um, a good portion of them, you know? I mean, so, like, even them, like, cutting the little flint heads for, like, that's not going to do shit in an armor. It's like, no. Vidink. It's like, was, all right, you know? What was that one weapon called where it was a spear and they had a a stick? Kind of like a baseball bat. A mace? Oh, and you'd, like, throw it? Or like Yeah. It's like it a like, la- like ladle like, or something. Like that, I'm not sure what it was called. A Vlad? Vlad the Impaler? Mm-hmm. I think so. <laughs> that that weapon, they case. used to kill like uh, mammoths and shit, like big animals. All that was was a sharpened stick and fucking throw it at people and stab them in the throat. Force them back. That's like also too in that Sapien book too, because like they, they talk about a lot of stuff, like even with the extinction of those things. Um a lot of times, like, uh, once they started, like, hunting mammoths and stuff like that, it became, like, easy living. Like, all of a sudden, next thing you know, they're like, oh, my God, they got all this fur, all this ivory and stuff. And a lot of them, they're, like, they were just pinning in corners and stuff, or, like, pushing them off Would stuff. you ever have ivory <laughs> tea? Ivory tea? Like, yeah, because I'm pretty sure that's tea? how they make it. They take ivory and they grind it down to and put it in uh, tea bags or whatever. Now, they, they, I think that's what they drink in China, mm-hmm. ivory. Oh, well, the, they've stopped now, right? To, like, get Supposedly. boners. Yeah, no, it. fuck no, they don't stop now. Supposedly dude. they did. They're like, oh, my gonna, dick. It's China, yeah, dude. They still have sweatshops. Welcome to China. Get the like, China. They're 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 like, well, it's funny because like now they're slowly like moving out of that shit in like Taiwan. Maybe now we, dude, they're bullshit. Like, they're like moving into that. They're like taking all the work from China and stuff like China? that. China, dude, no way. Dude, China's moving up. Like they're like they were the worst in pollution and like not even what. Oh God, there's two likes right there. I apologize, but in no Welcome time to at the all. Like podcast, yeah. where every other week, you know, what? we should just every bleep time them we out. say like, you get a free beard oil. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he said it right there. Like, if you just like, go to brickanderson dot com. Like, um, put in the promo code like, and you'll get a free beard oil for the price of ten dollars. <laughs> Bricks like, how many beard oils am I giving out this month? Five thousand six hundred and fifty four. How many podcasts did we record, guys? It was just one. Yeah. What? I'm only speaking for myself. I can't speak for Admir's likes. To... Dude, I, I very rarely drop in a like. Mm. Maybe uh, a comment and a subscribe. What up? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, dude, but... Uh, uh, I think I do a lot of butts. <laughs> oh, that grinder's come back up, man. Oh, He's dude, fuck you guys with that grinder, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, that was funny uh, explaining grinder. <laughs> it was grinder. Dude, I, I thought it was a mm. dating app. It is, uh, kind of. Yeah. Is it really a gay dude dating app? Yes, yeah, so my brother met his boyfriend. Was on oh, Grindr, fuck, dude. I did not know that. They they met, that's what was funny. He's like, yeah, we met on a dating app, and then uh, oh, it was just to, and then we ended up like liking each other more and stuff like that. And I was like, what app? I was thinking of like Tinder. I'm like, oh, no, you nice. Had and he's like, Gr- he's a grinder. I was like, oh, I mean, he's a, uh, at least you're crushing it. Could you? you know? <laughs> is there a, oh, I don't even want to ask, because you can just be like, oh, fucking, you knew he got fucking gay. Is that is that a problem for you there? <laughs> a little bit. No, but no I, I just I think people should just do whatever the fuck they want. Leave me the fuck alone. If I were to, I guess going back to that, I would maybe try it. But I mean, for the most part, like I don't know that. Try what being gay. Thing. Yeah, if it comes with ivory tea. <laughs> <laughs> with ivory tea. Uh, oh, what? It's the like, fuck? It's like that's exactly like how gay people will do it. They'll like pop some quaaludes or fucking drop. I don't even know what fucking speed or some shit, and just like into just, what your drink. No, it's just then they'll just take drugs themselves and just fuck all night, dude. Gay people are crazy like that. Dude, you're a dude. Admir's a dude. We know dudes could just bone all night. <laughs> so imagine, imagine two dudes. Give me a half hour. Hey. That's like Give that's me like. Half hour to sound like you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, moving fuck on. That shit. Ivory tea. I, I would maybe drink it, but I don't know. I wonder if they even drink that shit back in like because that was one thing with all the mammoths when they're like, taking all the shit like. 
I wonder how much they actually... I mean, you can use it and stuff, but, like, you make different things, but, like, how much can you actually use if you don't know how to, like... Oh my gosh, these likes. Dude, <laughs> it's hard, to, all right? Or especially think, when you start hearing yourself say only them. way. There's only one way to find out. Just take me for who I am. I said, like... <laughs> yeah, you're super, dude. I know, we're gonna ah. have to just find us some ivory, bust it up in little pieces, and maybe sip it. It's like snorting ivory. It's illegal to <laughs> find... It's, you can, I don't think you can even find that stuff here, can you? Um, I, yeah, I hope not. Uh, if we I could – okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to have an excursion to Canada because I think you can find them in Canada, right? What? Ivory. Tusks. I or in Alaska. It. I doubt it. I think sure. you can find them you in Alaska. You can't find it in the U.S. You can't find it in Canada. No, because you've got to find mummies or um, uh, uh, mammoths. The frozen ones. Or frozen mammoths. I would imagine Siberia, if anything. I would Cause those, do you oh. think there's just mammoths lying around yeah. in Canada? Yeah. Oh, what's that? Like it was on that Vsauce. What the hell is not Iceland, Greenland? Because when um, they did, like, a, a, a thing showing time, like, mammoths were on the planet when... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It is me. I'm sorry. I'm apologizing for everyone. <laughs> but, but like... Uh, <laughs> oh. Bro, get pitted, dude. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry before I was rudely interrupted. I already forgot what I was talking about. It's all right. Greenland. Something oh, about green. lakes. Uh, what time? Uh, it was like, I want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. God uh, damn it, he's catching himself. <laughs> I, it's like right when I hear it, it just like. It hurts. I just hear this like voice in my back of the head. Bitch. <laughs> 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 so it just cuts out my whole like train of thought and everything like that. <laughs> hey, that's a green good word to use it. Like, everything like that. That's a what good do you word. Mean? That I can use like like that. Yeah, is that a good word? Everything Cause, like that. Because even when I started thinking about using like, I'm like, there's when do you a, use it? And then you're like, ooh, I like that. You know, or like, yeah. Mm. That, those are the only times you should use it, but. Or when you compare something. No. The <laughs> can's kind of like that can. Yeah. But if you use it as a filler word, like uh or mm, do I use it gets very filler? repetitive. It's like, okay, have you ever listened to one of those podcasts where the other person is explaining something to the other guy, and the, every time he says something, there would be. So today we, uh, I brought in a car and the other guy's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Every time you hear that, mm-hmm, it's, you're expecting it after the other person's, um, sentence. So mm-hmm. it gets, it gets, yeah, there you go. It gets annoying because you're just like, oh, he's going to sit again. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. 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 I know, I think it was on the Joe Rogan podcast when he was talking to this last guy. It se- it feels submissive and it's just a fill in thing. You don't really uh, need to like mm-hmm. tell the other person, <laughs> motherfucker, dude. <laughs> uh, Fucking Brian, dude. Uh, you know what? I'm never, ever uh, gonna doubt you again, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That's all for today. Uh, Thanks for uh, like uh, listening. Uh, no. It hasn't even been five all minutes. Right. Greenland. Um, so that's right. They're guaranteed because they were still alive when. Mammoths? Yeah, mammoths. I want to say, even when, like, during... (laughs) Go on, say it. It's just so funny. (laughs) I I, I almost think I'm broken. I don't know if I can change. (laughs) You're like a robot. But it was, I want to say sometime, the same time, like... Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Built uh, Buffalo, like... Buffalo Bill? (laughs) Buffalo Bill made it to Greenland. Or at the same time. Like, so when... People were first coming over, and those first people kind of were being like pilgrims, like type of stuff, mm-hmm. like that. Like that. I didn't finish. Did they support me? I guess. Long story short, there's probably still husks in Greenland if the military is not blocking it, if NASA's army is not holding people back from not flying over it. Well, see, the reason they don't let you fly over Greenland. Is you because know, they'll let you do that. Greenland is a strategic point to see how flat the Earth really is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> have we have ever <laughs> like not <laughs> talked about flat Earth? <laughs> no. Every episode, Dude, I laughed so hard on that one episode where you guys were ranting about something, and all I heard was flat. <laughs> and I was like, "Did someone say something about flat Earth?" <laughs> Dude. Out of fucking nowhere, I was just like, dude, if anybody's listening to this, they're 100% dude, convinced they, that I'm a flat earther. Think it's how fast true, that thing freaking, oh, man, think how fast that turned, like, 
on, you know, how, how fast, like, oh, so now everyone is... On the flat earth Yeah, theory. everyone is hearing about it. It's all these things coming up and stuff. And before, you know, you're hearing all these people, oh, yeah, and people used to think the earth was flat. <laughs> and now it's, like, making a resurgence where it's becoming so popular and coming. It's like, it almost feels like if people don't get challenged for it, they're like, yo, oh, it looks flat. Well, there was, there was the very first map they found that was mapped further than anybody else had actually technically traveled. Mm-hmm. And on that map were drawn continents of uh, places like Antarctica. And nobody ever traveled to them. But these maps are so ancient that Antarctica was actually drawn on them. And they used that map to map out the Earth. When they when Columbus and them were sailing to like map out the actual planet. It but was it was ancient, obviously wrong. No, it was right. Because Columbus was, thought he was in Asia, and that's why he called them. because Columbus Indian. thought the Earth was round. That's wrong again. He got yeah. lost. He believed Galileo because Galileo said it was round. He was just a lazy piece of shit that didn't want to keep going. Yep. But that, I heard that was common knowledge back. Well, I guess even though people talk about the boats and if you zoom in type of stuff, but like a lot of things for them and like whew, checking the diameter of <laughs> the sun, you know, so you just stand up, lay down, and if you. Or if you do it on a skyjack, you know, if you mm-hmm. lay it down on the ground and then and you're on a skyjack you and raise you all the way up, you'll just watch the sunset again. And so people would tell that time, yeah. And so they would see, well, if this, my body height, and at the time it dropped, you kind of get your little Pythagorean theorem. I thought I came to say it. E or Y squared plus X squared. Y squared plus, plus B squared equals C or squared. A squared, yeah. That, the, the third triangle one, you know, basically mm-hmm. that was it. And so you just. Pythagorean theorem. There you go, Pythagorean Something theorem. like that. Pythagorean, 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 poop, poopy poop, theory. Plymouth yeah. Rock theorem. You know what I found really interesting is Einstein got smart working in a shit. My brain just died. In a Mexican just, patent office. Soil. Patent office. Yep. Like he was a derp. Yeah. Well, that was the thing too because even mm. when they said he was like stupid, like I read a book. Oh, God damn it. Does that he mean he read a He was not stupid. Yeah, he wasn't. That he just didn't false. like school. Yeah, he didn't He like didn't like school. His grades were good, but teachers were just shit. Some of them. I Be a think, good teacher out there. So does that? I think I'm a world. genius. Then I don't think so. You have a, a normal brain. How do you know that? To be a genius, you have to be psychologically um, crazy. I am kind of crazy. And you can use your brain for good or bad. But I usually tie my shoes just by using my brain. Those other Einstein like, thing, That's right? a, a thing that a fucking a college professor did. He was studying brains, a psychology professor, and. Um, he threw his brain in there just to have something to look at, and he found out that his brain was one of the crazy brains. I don't know exactly what it's called, but he had like mm-hmm. a crazy genius brain. It's nuts. Yeah, it's I would fry. say that too if I was studying my own brain. I'd yeah, be like, look at too. that, dude. That's That's what what saying, but hey, totally how you pick up chicks and stuff. Oh, you're interested in uh, this brain, brain, brain wiring chemistry, huh? I just so happen to have, you know, a very unique brain. Come on in. <laughs> Let me show you some pictures of my brain. Oh, sorry. That's my penis. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's, let's talk about a little brain here. <laughs> just, just wrap your mouth around my head. <laughs> but even with, like, the Einstein thing, going back to that, like, that was his thing, you know? There's no difference. If you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it's going to be pretty stupid. So, you know, you get Bill Gates <clears> and Michael Jordan together. You put Bill Gates in front of a computer, and you're like, oh, my gosh. You know, and Michael Jordan's going to just stand there like a clown. But Not if it's a that. PC. If you put him in front of a basketball court, like, what's freaking <laughs> Bill Gates going to do? He'd bring his laptop. Oh. Yeah. He's going to bring a robot. I was going to say gonna that. Bring. He's going to bring a mech and shit. He'll hop in it. <laughs> Bend over. <It's> like, <laughs> you lose human. Uh, I'm 10,000 years ahead of you. It's only a matter of time. I was watching Wally last night. And, dude, I don't know what it is, but Wally, I feel like it just, like, strikes a chord. I don't know what it is. Something about it. I'm just, I just It's probably it. that everybody's getting fat. We're all relying more on technology. We're destroying the Earth. And we're not building spaceships yet, so it's probably not going to end well. Yeah, because if you yeah, think they, about they it, they if you just continue this trait, you know, it's like, why wouldn't it be like that, you know? I think but it'd be, don't you want to own a Wally? Fuck yeah. No. Exactly. Let's a do garbage it. unit? Yeah. I think they have them nowadays. They're the little... Oh, Roombas? Roombas. 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 That brings you a bull, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hell yeah. Roombas. Roombas. Good job. Oh, Teriyaki combination, sauce. combination, bitch. Teriyaki and right, sauce. Right behind it, there's a Roomby, like, cleaning up all the rice that it dropped. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know what? I love technology nowadays. But it's another... Um, I was l- listening to a, a video. They were talking about millennials. Mm-hmm. And how they got screwed with like technology, 
where they're listening how to... How they got screwed with technology. Yeah. Where, how exactly did, cause everything did millennials is, get screwed? Because everything is instant gratification. Okay. Let, for instance, you want to read a book mm-hmm. instead of going to the library and taking the time walking there or driving there, looking through the shelf or even talking to a librarian and getting it. You just get on your phone, type in the name, boom, instantly have the book. So you can read two books by the time you walk to the library. In a sense, but that instant gratification. So now let's say that something in, something comes around a lot along in life that you can't get instantly, like becoming a painter in a body shop. Like getting laid? No, you can get yeah, that instantly. Can. No, you can't. Not unless yeah, you, you can. You, you can get that instantly. You can pay for it. You can pay for it. <clears throat> yeah. There's apps. What is that one app, Brick? Tinder. Tinder. You just get on there and you swipe left or swipe right, whatever you youngins do nowadays. <laughs> up, down, whatever. I think up is like instant like or something. I don't know. I never used it. It's How a, do you use Grinder? Uh, well, Grinder is different story. <laughs> That's live stream. <laughs> Live stream. Yeah. Just a bunch of wangs hanging. Just bunch of, they're hanging but, from the left, from the right. There's so many with standing straight up. But no, um. Sticking straight up. Sticking straight up. <laughs> oh, it's a uh, hobby uh, hop on my lap here, Eddie. And we'll talk about the first thing that pops up. Like, that was my grander experience. <laughs> but everything is instant gratification. So when you get something in life that isn't instant gratification, you automatically feel as though you're failing somewhere in your life. That's why. With most, with a lot of millennials nowadays, especially in law enforcement, they've started noticing that a lot of millennials are committing suicide because it's making them depressed. Where you're getting this instant gratification ever since you're little, and then when you grow up, you go into a company and you're expecting that instant gratification. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to be the best. You've been told your entire life since you were a little kid. Hey, if you want something, go out and get it. It's yours. You get into a company and you're a paper boy for fucking ten years. You're failing. You're not getting anywhere in life. And it's like, dude, that's just the normal grind of life. You have to. Earning things takes time. It is an instant. You can't get on Amazon and order yourself a career and have it there the next day with $3 shipping. I don't want to point fingers, but I know somebody that is like that. You know, when you get to be oh, young and stuff, like sometimes you like you do stuff like, God, say like like four or five times in a row because you don't know what to do so just pump them out like 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 <laughs> that, that same stuff happens you know and so mm-hmm. even i fall in that same category where i used to maybe read a book a month if i when we started in the book club that was actually like a fast time for me reading it because but you were reading a physical book right yeah but it even takes so long and now with audible i probably do four books a month dude like, yeah audible no is easy problem. you just you push know? play just like, and listen you let your brain absorb it but if you were doing it back in the old days like before our generation. So do you think it's just the instant gratification yeah. or is it the people reinforcing instant gratification? Both. Both. So why don't you just raise your kids to not be instant gratificationers? How are you going to do that? By not, when they start crying in the fucking car, don't hand them the tablet. That's what I was just going to say. Don't like... fucking hand them your phone so they can stop crying. What did you used to do? Your dad would fucking turn around in the car, smack you in the face. He just used to like, give shut me a cigarette. the fuck up, you know? Mm, and then yeah. you shut up. My dad would pull over. It's that and fucking <laughs> simple. I'm like, yep. oh, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Getting out of the car. God damn it. You, you wanna, <laughs> I, know, I know I know all these older people who are just bitching about it, but it's like you guys are the ones who did it. Yeah. And that was the main uh, point of the video is the guy was – he's like, I'm not blaming the millennials. He's like, I'm not blaming the kids. They're the ones that got shitty hand. He's like, what really happened is their parents fucked up. And I don't think we got the shitty hand. We got the best hand, dude. In a you sense, yes. You can learn whatever the fuck you want to learn right yeah. now. Hop on YouTube and fucking learn how to change your oil. And then you don't have to take it to fucking Napa Auto Parts and get it changed for 250 bucks. You could do it for 30 bucks at home. You know, That's true. Sent to you. That, I don't even got to go to Napa. This shit's going to be here tomorrow. Exactly. <laughs> That's true. For, it's for I can feel that definitely because for me, I'm trying to learn a new language. Mm. And... I keep downloading new phone apps because I go through one app and mm-hmm. I get bored of it. I'm just like, oh, everything on here is too easy. I've memorized it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so then I download another app and I start working on that. What? Am I saying like? No. Just, like. Mm-hmm. I mean, oh, you continue. guys. I've go completely on. blocked that out. You're doing good, dude. Right when you said it, now I've learned how much I say it. Like, so. just go, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, listen, dude. Sorry, um, <laughs> so, and I, now I'm downloaded another app. But this one, it's teaching me words. 
But what the fuck else were you learning, dude? <laughs> well, you have to first learn an alphabet. With symbols, right? You've got to learn how. To, you've got to learn. <laughs> you've got to learn the alphabet first, and you've got to learn how to write and read the alphabet. Mm-hmm. Learn how to so, love. Learn how to fill and cut. <sighs> Mm-hmm. This, learn this how to grind. A, yeah, this was, was this on the grinder? No. no. And then, yeah, sorry, and then after that, it starts teaching you words and then in vocabulary, like uh, grammar and how to connect those words and stuff. But as I'm learning these words, it's kind of strange because the word pops up and instantly in my brain, it's kind of like in English where you read a word and you're automatically like feed, for instance. You automatically know what that word means. Everybody knows what that word means. As soon as I said it in your brain, it clicks. Yeah. Mm, and for me, I with, thought of like a feed like that. Like uh, you see your feed or on any, the list. No, or like, like feed. Like feed. Like or as you're feeding something to anything, mm. like uh, feeding a tube or anything. Mm. Um, feed my need for speed. Yeah. But feed my for cock. instance, <laughs> with that language, it's, it's not. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's not letters. It's their symbols, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Now, whenever I see those symbols in my brain, I automatically connect them with the sound or the word. And it's strange. Today, I was sitting there going through the app, and I'm reading it. And subconsciously, I'm clicking the right one without having to think about it. But that's going to fuck you up, dude. No, it won't. Isn't How it? How so? Because then you're – you're when they can combine the symbols, you won't exactly be reading it? No, no. It gives you the full word. Okay. So it'll right, read like the sense, word. Though. It'll be like – uh, uniform mm-hmm. or whatever, but it would be written in hiragana. So it'd be sitting there written, Hi. and you have to read it. Hi. And one of the uh, actual characters is highlighted, and it'll tell you, read this character, only this one character. But you can click on the side to help you, and it'll read the entire word. But usually I try to read the entire Are word. Are you reading it out loud or yeah, no? Yeah, I read the word, and oh, then I good. click the... The tutorial and the tutorial confirms me, and I'm like, yes. So what are you gonna do? Just buy a plane ticket, take two weeks off, and go. Yeah, and just backpack it, and try yeah. to figure some shit out. Be, I feel like one of the best way to learn it. Oh, yeah, just that. jump yeah. right into. Are you it? working on like? Is it like memorization? Or are you more feeling more? Maybe like I'm learning it from like a. I'm learning it from a school <laughs> standard, like a little kid learning it. You're trying so, to understand. Yeah, so I'm learn. I learned the alphabet first, the very first alphabet that everyone learns in the first grade, second grade. Then I moved on to the second alphabet, and now I'm learning words within those two alphabets. Numbers, and numbers too, but they're basically just the words or sing, single uh, symbols. And then when you move on to like the kanji, which is like the crazy letters that everyone's like, oh no, 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 fucking way. That's further up the road, and most people there's only I think like. A hundred of the words that you actually have to know to like survive there. So you don't need to know all 5,000 characters. All I really need to know is about, about a hundred of them. I bet you could make it just right now. I bet you could too. I bet I could. Cause but, you'd go over there and someone would be like, I speak, speak English, English dumbass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've, I've been watching a lot of videos and a lot of people don't. Like, it was funny. They did a, um, this one guy does it. He's like, I'm going to go around Japan looking for people with American letters on their shirts and see if they understand what they mean. And one of these girls was walking around and she had a huge shirt on, like a t-shirt that was not for her. It was like Shaq's, Like a homie? Yeah, it was a Shaq's shirt. That's and it read, style. That's a weird and it read though. diarrhea. Oh, on it snap and he asked her he's like do you know what that means and she's like Dairy. no i have no idea and he explains it to her and she's like i don't want to wear this shirt anymore oh, he's like why would you poop <laughs> why would you have that and w- which it blows my mind even more is people getting tattoos of those symbols mm-hmm. where it's like why would you get a symbol of a kanji from any country for instance, like a lot of people don't understand this, but a lot of the Japanese kanji are actually imported from China. Mm. All kanji are basically home rooted in China. Is kanji like they're the crazy ones? Is it, it the, looks ch- like is a it big the Japanese word for calligraphy? Basically, yeah. Because it, that's like a whole art in itself, isn't it? That's yeah. how they do it. They just they'll, they'll give them big ass brushes and stuff, and then they say. You know, make it perfect. It's like the it's like the fancy big ones that they the, that they draw, right? Mm-hmm. Like they have the smaller ones, the hiragana, which is like the Japanese language. Then there's the katakana, which is meant for foreigners or for foreign names or for foreign things. Mm-hmm. 
So your name would be written in Katakana because you are a foreigner. Brickson. Um, but everything else, was, it would be written in Hiragana if you were native Japanese. I think kanji is just like a big word. Is there an animosity against Americans there? Definitely not. I don't think so. Why? I think everybody's kind of came in and like took over and put a couple of bases, kicked away their military. Uh, well, we freaking dropped no. big boy, little boy. You know what yeah. I'm saying, dude? I feel, I feel like the older generation would would maybe feel That's like That's terrible. That. I apologize. No. Um, maybe they are. You know, America, dude. <laughs> what up? America. I feel, you know, I've, I've been to Japan once and uh, all the buildings are a lot smaller. That's because it's like, like Smurf Town. No, I was more like uh, God, Godzilla style. Godzilla! I really cool. want to go to Japan. I think it would be so cool because, I mean, you can get a damn room. You walk in through a mall and be like, oh, I'm just going to rent this bed for the night. <laughs> Sleep in a pod. It's like, here we go. Nice ass bed, lights, everything. Everything's like down the street. It's like. I, my real reason for learning the new language is I, um, if I get it down really well, I want to move there. The radiation or right, right into Fukushima okay. in radiation Fuku- zone. You're like, look at all this land I have. <laughs> you guys should come they visit me. They tell everybody me. it's uh, fine. You know, tick, 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 they, they're planning Gaga on. Canners. I watched the thing on Vice. They're they're planning on having people move. I want to say it's either this year or like the next year. They're having people. They're trying to have people move right back in to the point where I, I was watching something on there where they had cleared off all the streets and cleared off everything. They just moved looking to the sides and there's freaking still bodies that were like in the areas where they hadn't yeah. cleared off yet. Well, they learned because they're like, look, we know how long it takes for radiation to clear. Trust us. <laughs> if anybody knows, it's us. It, it's interesting because, I mean... What if I, radiation is a conspiracy? Whatever, dude. What do you mean, whatever? It could be. How do you know? I mean, because they use radiation to cure cancer, it gives, like, uh... That could be a conspiracy, too. What if cancer's a conspiracy? <clears throat> it kind of is, because, like... <sighs> <laughs> preface with everything. Dude, every time you this do is that. Good, it's good, though. It's going to make me a better person. I'm going to move away from this better <laughs> than I was before. Look, um, I will become a better grammar Nazi than any of you know. Because mm-hmm. just like that, you know, mm-hmm. you could be a... I guess a Nazi. You never know. Take that, you know, 21 and me. Next thing you know, shit. I uh, better crap, not tell man. anybody about that. Uh, How crazy would that be? <laughs> Woo, made it. Not a Nazi. <laughs> Unless you're like one of those crazy ones that all of a sudden got picked up by the NASA and all these people, you know, and like designed everything we use, rockets, all this stuff, because they're still masterminds. I did find you know, that they, insane. They, they just got kind of, you know, different rap, uh, I guess. What's the correct word for that? They got integrated, yeah, integrated into the system. Which is weird, those NASA dudes, man. Yeah. Well, I, Faking moon landings and stuff. <laughs> Come on now, dude. Well, I, I don't know about the moon landing, but personally, I mean... Even you I think it was things, real? Well, I like NASA just in general, dude. I don't know. I like space. I like the idea of space. I, I like, like the idea of space. It blows my mind. Stuff. So I, I kind of even like. Oh, but if you that think fairy tale, you know, I like you that think, fairy tale. If, if you, you want to call it that, I'm, I'm like, yeah, it's so much better. Fair- but for me, I don't. I don't know if they've actually done it. I don't technically believe it, to be honest, because the whole terraforming of Mars, even like with the the SpaceX and everything, we're going to Mars is the thing that blows my mind. I'm like, what's wrong with the fucking moon? What if? It's right there. It's right here. Yeah, but the moon, you no, can't terraform the moon because it, it can't hold an atmosphere. It doesn't even have an atmosphere. So it's we make small. a bubble, dude. I watched Futurama. A bubble? Yeah. Around the moon. Gi- no, like you, it's like you put I a guess city you and could. Make a giant dome over it. Almost like... They um, did... It is... Uh, Truman Show. When, you ever hear of a Dyson Sphere? Mm-mm. It's uh, the vacuum? No. It is a... <laughs> it's like... It's a third... It rolls though, right? No. You need to turn corners... The Dyson vacuums, they have that one wheel. Man, it's not it. the vacuums. I'm talking about the Dyson sphere. <laughs> so Same it's, thing. It's when it's the, the stages of people or uh, civilizations. And I think the first stage is when people can harness the entire energy of their planet. Um, I think the second one is when they can harness... The power of the sun? The power of the sun, which is the Dyson sphere, I believe. So a Dyson sphere is basically building a giant... Um, sphere around the sun to capture 100% of its energy. And yeah. I think a stage three civilization captures the entire galaxy. 
I think the solar system is multiple. Yeah, the entire solar system or something. I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm not a scientist. I, I, no the, BS. I can't remember what no it was, BS. but just the fact that someone harnesses it. So, oh, you harness the nuclear technology and it sends out a signal to like the world. I, I can't remember what movie or where I seen this or whatever, but they had the it was idea. A Death Star. It was where like there was a, once they had nukes. They knew that this nuclear energy or whatever was tapped into it. And so they came there and they're like, well, let's see how you guys handle having nuclear energy. You know, because the, technically you're ha- harnessing the power of the sun. And so almost ready as if this, you can handle this and you're becoming a thing where you can use it, control it. You know, technically, you know, all you need is a large, large, large amount of it. And you can create your own sun and create your own solar system you know technically and so there was the idea of like the people coming and being like are you part of our board now because we're on this board you can say or, or council of elders where we all all of our countries and all of our people you know star trek style we are yes yeah, star is even better so that we all harness this nuclear power you know compared to someone i mean we only had it since 1950 or 1942 whenever the heck the bomb was dropping you know world war ii whenever that was and, I mean, think how long humans have been on. I was in the Sapien, and we've been we've been here way longer than you realize. Nine thousand you know? years. The Earth was formed, and that's a really long time. Years ago. I think we've had nuclear power for about through four thousand years, but something went horribly wrong, and we got sent back to the Stone Age. Oh, too. another cool thing. How is, many times do you think that's happened? I think once, just once. Once before, yeah. That's why the city like of Atlantis. I think it was real, and I think it's in the South Pole. Some dumbass dropped they a, a test wood tube. And shit there. That's what I think. But this is a cool thing: is about the Dyson sphere. Is apparently they seen it being built by another civilization. Because when they watch um, stars off in the distance, they all have like this strange wobble to them, where a planet or something is crossing it. So there's. Um, a, sh- a shadow going across the yeah, star clips. if you're zoomed in on it. But on one of them, it was having strange uh, blockings where it would be blocked for certain amounts of time. Multiple moons? No, the whole star would disappear. And reappear? And reappear. And it kept blinking in and out of existence till it stopped blinking. It's like freaking... So North what they Coke. think... So what they think is people Smoke were building a Dyson. So another civilization was building a Dyson sphere. Isn't that the, Way the, off the weird the part about our our I guess universe or our solar system is we're on the young end, correct? Like our, as humans, is our human? Are we on the older end of the galaxy or the younger end of the galaxy? I think we're about in the middle. I guess if it so was there started could at one be point civilizations exploded, older it's probably than us. equal, huh? That's that. Yeah, that's right. That's how I, space is. Everything is moving simultaneously away from each other at. A constant rate. Yeah, but there will always be something ahead of you and something behind you. But I guess it will still be moving further and further away, though. Yeah. From each other. That's what makes it impossible for us to leave our local cluster. Like There's a local cluster, which is our galaxy and Andromeda. Mm -hmm. So Milky Way and Andromeda is our local cluster. Those two galaxies, we can never leave them. But eventually they'll crash into each other and become a super galaxy, and we can never, we can't leave that su- that local cluster. So if we see another galaxy off in the distance, we're never getting there. Because so it's moving, it's moving away, it's moving away seen, faster. It's moving away faster than the speed of light, unless we figure out some sort of loophole in the space time continuum dimension where we build some strange super magnet thing that. Bends and warps space time and pushes us from one point to another, and we appear on the other end of the galaxy or at the other end of the universe. I think that that's is more way. like a wormhole. Or like something. a wormhole, yeah. I feel like yeah. that's very like plausible, to be honest. Like, a wormhole, well, anything yeah. is fucking plausible, dude. That's well, true. let me show you how wormholes plausible. You want to get? Oh god, he's pulling his dick up. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey. Worm. all right, so you want to take this. That's a weird-looking worm. <laughs> got a worm. Uh, now I need a hole. Did yeah. I say, <laughs> let me just hop on my app? Did I say worm? I mean, tragic. Oh, snake. hey, who's Troy? Troy? Let me show yeah. you a wormhole. <laughs> uh, Docker shipping it. <laughs> so it, it would, uh, would a wormhole work like a portal, or would it work like a black hole? I guess, because I, I, I had seen a diagram of it where... A black hole a black hole. They did like a line, you know? Because it was the thing, too. The black hole, like, sucks in energy, but supposedly it pushes it out, I guess. 
Who knows what it does? Uh, the only way to figure it out is to jump in. I know. Go, Go for a ride. Side. I think it's like the delete button. Apparently, know, yeah, that's where I'm at. It's like, done. Oh, Apparently, if you jump into a black hole, you would see the end of the universe because you would be frozen in there, and everything else would be f- going by. Hmm. Theoretically, I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Everything I'm saying right now is fucking completely. Let's just start conspiracies now. Okay. Admir, go. So here's my conspiracy. I think we were seeded on this planet from an, by an alien race, and they've left us to just on our own. Right? Are we an experiment, or did they just not want this child? No, we. It, um, each planet gets uh, Alpha Centauri seeded. So they'll fly through a galaxy or through a solar system and be like, this planet has the highest rate for survival. And they'll seed it with everything, animals, everything, plants. Boom. So they're just jerking off on planets. Basically, except nice. with giant spaceships. I like these. And that's where cities start. Cities are, uh, are pods where first civilization started. So like Mesopotamia or whatever, right? Those pods start there and then the people live from those pods. Because like, think about it, not from those pods, but like the crashed um, spaceships is the people make their cities out of that, out of those spaceships that were there. And eventually over hundreds and hundreds of years, the spaceship gets used for parts and pieces and torn down and reused and torn down and reused till there's no more ship left. There's just metal plate armor or, or whatever. if the pods are pyramids and Aztec pyramids. They or, could be. Or remnants they just of like spaceships. See, you know, they just spewed out a bunch of like organisms. And I mean, if you if say you could light speed, hey, if we light speed back to our place, or say it's theirs is ahead, and maybe they they learned something so fast they didn't have to worry about it, and so they flew into the future and they seeded a planet and flew back and flew. Wouldn't that be like the whole distance of light speed? Say maybe it was a teleport. So even if they seeded it and it took forty thousand years, and it was uh, maybe a hundred thousand years of travel. I mean, they'd come to us now, right? Like, they just have to seed it, come back, leave the organisms. We well, 100,000 years, though, if we've only been around for half that, that means they're just barely getting to their destination from our, from us to theirs. Now they have to go from theirs to ours. Maybe they're on a road So we've trip. still got, like, another 3,000 years, maybe. Or if I was going to do it, you know. Or would, another 100,000 years. I would send it, you know. I mean, oh, I'd imagine almost kind of like, you know, a team maybe where you just send – all right, you got your cedars. They go first, you know, and then the next ones will come around. If it was would like be the, the educators, farm. yeah, the people. Okay, we we found that this one actually. Well, that worked. makes sense. It's, it's kind of like the second we'll coming of it. Christ. No, that one already <laughs> happened because that's where that's where we stop being savages and uh, so hopefully next Easter. No, we'll get some knowledge. Which is crazy on us. though, because like in China, I mean, they weren't savages and they had written language before freaking the Bible was written, like the nine thousand years, you know, before the Earth. Like they had like written language. Did you know? Pretty cool. Did you know? I found out that Jesus is, cool. is buried in Japan. Jesus. No, the actual Jesus. Um, and it's. It, I it's, feel it's, pretty good, dude. I don't. And it's an actual monument by Israel. <laughs> like they have it, like verified that this is where Jesus lays dead. I don't know about that. Would you Google it? I didn't think Let it was real either. It, has no one tried to dig it up? No. Then it's not true. Dude, Google it. I'll grave rob it. Uh, well, Apparently, uh, yeah. Jesus and like some somebody else is there with him. Jesus Fucking of Nazareth and yeah, Abraham? Jesus, yeah. They yeah, travel there on foot across the ocean. Just fucking. <laughs> you walk in, yeah. He's like, dude, you, you see it right around the corner. Dude, she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, look, another land. Oh, my goodness. More savages. He just has, how long he, he has that a bunch take, of dude. people following him. And he's like, come on, you can walk across this water. And he just takes off running. And they just all fall in. <laughs> See ya. None of them could make it. Yeah, I wonder how long would sink. they take? Think how long the Oregon Trail took. They had like they still had horses. I mean, a lot of them walked and stuff, you know. But... And a lot of them killed each other, I think, didn't they? Oh, my. Especially in the, on the Mormon trek here with the pioneers. They killed each other. Which is the one thing that gets so shimmeled out, you know, because that was one of the things that, that never Joseph happened. Smith, yeah, halfway oh, through, they barely even got out of Illinois, and all of a sudden, half the people are like, "You know, this is not for us. We, wanna, we just want to be here. We want to. We'll go. We'll go north. We'll go south. We'll go to freaking anywhere." And he's like, "No, we have this cause. We have no cause. I got to take you guys to Zion, whatever the hell his idea was." And when half that group branched off. The 
elders uh, group dressed as natives and freaking went running around, came right back behind them, sacked them. It's, oh my gosh, we got natives behind. Well, I guess Indians behind us really, at the time, you know. If you go, they're killing us. If you go back in time, back to like New York, where they're about to leave, you're like, all right, boys, everyone packed and ready to rock and roll. He's like, yes, sir, let's do this. Five miles out, people start killing each other. It's like, we can't do this anymore. It's like, we haven't even left the colony uh, yet. I can still see the lights from here. <laughs> I can still oh, see man. the city lights. Someone's just waving off in the distance. <laughs> but, oh, my Bye. God. That's a crazy part about Joseph Smith. I mean, he, you can, like, pull up police records in another, uh, another city in Illinois. He's been, he got accused and tried and persecuted as a con man. It's like, okay, you know, he well, moves to another town. How stupid are you? Stupid <laughs> enough. Perfect. And I'm trying to raise a cult. Follow yeah, me. Yeah, I'm trying to get some chicks, bro. <laughs> How many chicks? As many as you want. We can you, have wives. All actually, day. I'm taking your chick. <laughs> yeah. All you need to do is go overseas. Bro, oh, even worse, dude. Damn. Those guys were like, mm-hmm. he would get, they'd pull people in their council. Like, that was one thing with those guys. They'd pull people in their council. Hey, you're cool. You're cool. You're cool. Yeah, you got this. You got this. You got, you get you this power and all that stuff. I mean, now that you're here, I mean, your daughter, you know, I'm a strong man, and I am your leader, and your daughter is a damn babe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think she deserves someone with power? And and that's what, like, so like many of those Goku. guys, like, these guys in these, like, elder forms were, like, or in the, in the council and stuff, even to each other when they became friends, they would offer them, offer it up. Oh, yeah, my daughter, yeah, take my daughter, she's four, fucking 12, 14, whatever, she can be a good wife, she can... Do whatever, you know, they, like, offer them up. Fucking savages. Dude, even at the old houses that uh, they have right there by the, um, I guess, temple and all the LDS squares where all of this, wives and stuff like this. Um, not Joseph Smith. Um, Brigham Young. Brigham Young's. Yeah. Or maybe even was Joseph Smith. But one of those guys, they had a um, room up there and they'd meet and they'd talk and do whatever and they'd com- combine on Be it. Be careful what you say. You don't want to get prosecuted by the Mormon court. You are behind enemy lines. They show me the money. I know, <laughs> but with those guys, they would uh, go up there. They'd meet. They'd talk about their business. You know, mm-hmm. family home evening, whatever the hell they do, blow each other. <laughs> and freaking, they would just smoke and just chew tobacco all day long. Smoke and chew, smoke and chew, hell smoke yeah. and Crack chew. Crack me a call one, Brigham. Let's and, be able to fence, climb and, a tree. Yeah, back in the day, you know, like you had your ladies, hey, eh? get that shit, you know. <laughs> and so they would just be cleaning up so much tobacco, cigarettes, tobacco, cigarettes, and stuff like that. And one of uh, I forgot Joe Smith's main wife. Is it Liz- Ellie Smith or Emma Smith? Emma Smith. Is it Emma Smith? I'm not sure. I don't even know. Uh, she was like going crazy. Like, hey, you need to do this. You need to do something different. You need to do something different. You need to do something different. So much so then she's like, you need to ask God about this. No shit. Not even like a short period after. We've come to find that smoking cigarettes and <laughs> chewing tobacco is a sin among our word of wisdom, and you will not be in the top tier. You'll be in second tier. You want to be down there, you know? And like, damn, that balsam became a Daniel. thing. Daniel, that 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 is the same time. Like even when they had with the caffeine and all this stuff, and like you guys are being crazy, all this stuff. And so, actually, in the doctrine, it says no warm beverages, not just warm caffeine beverages, because why they can drink soda and all this stuff because cold caffeine. So if you drink a cold coffee, you're good. You're good, yeah. Nice. Yeah, you're good on a cold coffee. Dude, I, that's when I was... Uh, Crazy, yeah. Dude, it was like cold, when I was... Ice coffee is way more caffeine than any other coffee. Dude, it was just when I was dating that Mormon chick. I'm not going to say her name, but one time I was like, <laughs> let's stop at Starbucks. And she's like, I, I can't get that because uh, my dad's going to smell it. I'm just like, that's weird. And we were in her car. It's like, get over here, baby. Let me. No, and we, were, and we were in her car and uh, I had I had my coffee and I was drinking it. She's like, just make sure to throw that away before we get to my house. And I'm like, why? Because wow. I don't want my dad seeing what it. What year was this? Fucking 1960? Well, it was, uh, <laughs> coming out of the Cold War. I, yeah, I was coming out of the Cold War. <laughs> fresh off the beach of Nam. We gotta cover the windows so they don't see the lights so we don't get dropped down. Bomb no, it was, us. dude, it was bad. And I was just Damn. like, dude, it's coffee. Like, mm-hmm. who really gives a shit? And apparently her parents did. Yeah, so much so that, dude, they yeah, shunned me. Eventually, like, I hate to say it, and if this offends you, sorry, but it's the truth. They'll die off. A lot of people are coming around, you know. Yeah, to the flat earth Coming theory. around more and more. <laughs> we're getting more flat earthers. We're all going to run to the west all yep. at the same time. We're going to make earth. it flip, Whee! and we'll be off and running because the, the, the earth will continue to flip within space. I agree. My my bet is on tails. Yeah. Tails it landed I, on bl- tails. I believe that. No, too, but really. Think about how many people you've heard <laughs> that are like joint becoming the church. I know of like one person that has now joined the church since 
and not being in the church and for the her reasons were interesting to me because like she's like ah, i had an issue you know blah 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 and so i was trying to figure out all these stuff confused in my life and so i sat down and someone's like you just gotta pray you just gotta see if this is right that's the thing they always tell you sit down and pray just pray about it mm-hmm. and so she prayed about it and she's like, i just felt this feeling like that I, as i was doing it, it was the right thing i had this feeling i sometimes that feel that feeling it was too. the right thing and so i know this it's true that's my testimony i know this is true because i prayed and i, I felt something come over me Hmm, and we were arguing, yeah, yeah, come all over like your face. Or <laughs> and like, oh, that, taste that doctrine. Taste it. <laughs> I hope she listens to this. Who is I it? wish. Who is it? I'm not dropping names, dude. Just whispering in my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that was the thing. And, and that was because me and uh, Tyler, uh, my, uh, yeah, our buddy or whatever, was arguing that same thing. We were like, whatever you felt... <laughs> It could be anything. It could be anything, you know. Just because you think it's God or you think it's whatever it is, we don't know. We don't know what this term is. I'm not saying you didn't feel anything, you know. Who says that if you just didn't sit down and ask yourself, like, come on, dude, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this, all of a sudden you just pump yourself up, you know. Just get out and Let's do say it. They dude, do that. Just listen to Shia LaBeouf, dude. Yeah, dude, I love that Damn. one, first off. There's a reason he's buff. Yeah, Shia LaBeouf. Just I, do it. Dude, it makes sense. It's straight across. But, you know, that was the same thing where all of a sudden now – that, oh, this is that reason, this is that reason. And I know that one person. But on the opposite side, I know so many people that are now left. Even, like, I have people that know people that went on missions and came back and they're like, ah. I know a lot I'm of people that. Uh, Even on YouTube, there's so many channels now. You yeah. Know? I know a lot of people that went on a mission and come back not believing in the church. Or they come back just being like, yeah, you know, I went on the on the trip thinking – this, 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 this. Like these are help people. The, no, 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 no. That. They they went on there thinking, don't drink coffee, don't do this, don't do that, don't swear, don't do that. And they come back and it's all bullshit. They figure it out. They're like it's bullshit. You go to you go to other countries and you figure you live with those people and you find out their cultures, and in the end you find out even if there is a god, he's not going to judge you for what you say or what you drink. Why would you want a god that? That judges that, uh, you yeah. for su- judges stupid you shit like that. For something like that. I mean, if you killed someone, fuck you. Yeah. But enjoy your life. Be good to other people. But you never know, though. God could be crazy like that, too. Yeah. That's uh, could, well, then, if he's people. crazy like that, then fuck him. Well, let, him let him strike in me In the down. Old Testament, Boom. I remember when I listened to the American... I listened to American Standard Version, so I don't know if it's different or whatever. But in one of the... I can't remember if it was in Genesis or whatever, but that was one of the things he said or Jesus or God or whatever, when he was coming across his name, he's like, what is my name? What is my name? You know, and the guy's like, Judah, it's this and all this. Uh, and he's Yahweh. Like, no. Yeah, he's like, hey, or is Yahweh. This is he's at the war God. Apparently. Well, he, he was said that his, like, he's like, no, you can call me jealousy for I'm a jealous God. There shall not be no others. And and so even like on top of that, he didn't even give a fuck about what they he was trying to say. He's like, you can call me whatever, but just know that I'm the number one. You know, and so or the guy who wrote that down said was yeah. a paranoid schizophrenic who's like everybody's gotta uh, enjoy my God. Yeah. There's nobody else. I'm gonna write it down. That's what's so weird about That's a lot of it. older stuff. Even like when you hear about like the maps, like I found this old map. I used to draw maps when I was a kid, dude. If someone found my map, they'd be like, "What is this? No, this man's seen the world I've not seen." You know, my imagination's like, "There's like all kinds of stuff over here. <laughs> Good little waterfall right here. There's a the place was a waterfall in a cool little pit. It's like, oh, there's a pot of gold. I swear, yeah. I synced it. I see. No, but those maps, when they went back and remapped them, they were accurate. The, those they, ancient did maps. Did you say they went past Antarctica? Yeah. So they, they mapped say, Antarctica. They had ma- Antarctica mapped in there on the round Earth. And is it fa- is it on further the ma- past it? I forgot what the map was called. Jesus Christ! It was called the Pangea. No, 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 no. Let my let my brain shovel through all the shit that you guys have been filling it with. I'm just kidding. My brain. Oh, how are you doing that? Whoa! <laughs> he was like, okay, let me explain it for the viewers. You can't see this, viewers, listeners. Uh, he was saying he filled it up, and he was like, "What are you doing like this?" And his hand was moving up and down. As though I was shoveling. The stuff How do you hold a mouth. shovel? How do you hold a shovel? Two hands, fucking, and down, make sure I got my back straight, you know? Man, yeah, but your hands aren't clenched completely. You've got to have a little bit of space in between there to hold the fucking shaft to the shovel. Ladies and gentlemen, that's See our that? episode for the day. That's how you hold a <laughs> shovel. 
You circle, you jerk. <laughs> you do what you shaft. gotta do. You gotta just, just do it. Shove Shit, it. Yeah. yeah. 53 minutes. Yeah, you could shove a shaft up your whatever. <laughs> <laughs> shovel. <laughs> shove a shovel shaft. Oh, man, this has actually been pretty chaotic. It's pretty... Should we um, let's sign off? Yeah, let's Signing wrap it off. up, man. I mean, thanks yeah. for listening to the Lost Minds podcast. Keep listening, guys. We'll see you next week. It's actually thanks for listening to the Likes podcast, guys. We're working on it. Trust. Well, I will speak for myself personally because I have come to find out I'm a pretty big problem with the like <laughs> factor. Uh-huh. I will work on that for the fewer v- viewers. Also, shameless plug time. You can always find me and anything that you want. I guess that has to do with me at brickanderson.com or hey, anywhere at Brick Brick. Do you want to get a hand job for 50 bucks? I do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he won't. You know, it's more like 100. But, and, um, uh, yeah, I guess you can also go to brickanderson.com, go to Ban- the Banff Beer Oils. You can use Lost Minds, get 25% off. I'm almost out, actually, so I'm going to have to. Ooh, I can bring you some, some special flavors. I'm going to try and make one special gypsy tears. flavors. Oh, yeah. i got to make a gypsy tears hey, one. Dude, that's, oh, gypsy I, tears. I, came up, I came up with that name. Yeah, 50% of that, like, that gotta get a gypsy uh, yeah, tears. I, I told him so. I, want, I want 51% of the stocks on that one. So. Well, that'll be the promo code for just the gypsy tears. 50% to add me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I guess, yeah, if you ever use Lyft, you can, I, since I've now made it, you can use the code BRICKBRICK801 and get, I think it's like two or three bucks. I don't even know how much it is. Not very much, but it's a discount on your ride. That's something. And it gives Only me from more you, cash. though. Yeah, it gives Only me from cash, you. yeah. They can't I drive be- Lyft. Any- just a disclaimer, not sponsored. I drive for them. They're cool. They can't, you, they can't just jump into random Lyft and be like, yo, I got Brick 801. Give me five bucks off, bitch. Yeah, when you sign up for your phone, you put it on there. I'll say if you have any promo codes and stuff like that. Even when you first do it, you can put in that. And then similar to a gift card, get a little paid off. But either way, cool. do what you want. Don't even that's go all, there. That's awesome. And uh, I'm still waiting for more Patreons for my uh, we should, Dig to the Center. Just dig it. Dude, just we dig start it. you as Patreon for Dig to the Center. Right now is like the time. Dig the Center. It's like, look. I've got a million views, and no one's donated a dollar. Well, I'm really sad. We should go to Stansbury, dig a weird-sized hole kind of in one of the pits already, and then just take some photos and be like, dude, we're looking for the Patreon, maybe some videos. We're going to the other side. Dude, people will want it. Did you ever dude, watch? people bought freaking Hurricane it. Rain, dude. Hurricane <laughs> Rain? Or, like, air. Like, a guy hold up a jar and, like, was catching air in a hurricane and, like, shut it and sold it on eBay. For, like, Did you watch bucks. that Patreon where they had bulldozers digging? Well, that's... Like, let's dig the biggest hole in the world. And they no. paid a contracting company to dig. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're going to. Oh, fuck, dude. Next episode Goddamn, coming up. Lost. Get, get ready. Yeah, no, get lost. Next time on Lost Minds. Goku, no! Ah! Action. Time is 3,600 years. Delivery time. 3,600 years to Earth. What are you gonna do when you get to Earth? I'm gonna fap so hard. What are you gonna use for fapping? An oil. What kind? Uh, Banff beard oils. I hear it's good for the skin. Where can I get some? At GreatAnderson.com. Nice. Under the tab, Lost Minds. Get your beard oil.